Thank you. All right, we're gonna get started with this. I have a challenger uh, that just finished her six week challenge not too long ago, actually quite a while ago, actually. Normally I do these sooner, but Irene uh, completed the challenge uh, and I wanna let her tell her story. Um, Irene, how old are you, by the way? Uh, I'm 25. 25, and what do you do for work? Um, I'm still a student. Still student. Okay, cool. So student. Um, so busy student. Um, what was kind of like your life or your fitness like before you started the challenge with us? Um, I think I was always sporadic. Like I would have like during the summer, um, maybe a couple times a week, I would be very active. But then during the school year, it might just be, I might have those weeks like um, every so month, every month or so, or whenever things get uh, busy or there, it's basically unstructured. But I, I do like to be active. But I think every time I do um, exercise, I'm always sore because of the inconsistency. Got it. So you you wanted to you you're active, but it was really that inconsistency that you you were struggling with. How did that kind of affect your health and your fitness? How did like how did it make you feel? I feel like because of that, I never really got to set like uh, or like set goals and then meet them within a certain time frame because it was always all over the place. Like I would never meet them. Um, and also just, uh, yeah, so it's hard to like find, define a goal for me. It's hard to like make it regular. Um, and then all my workouts would be like sore because I would never get to that maintenance phase. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So, so, um, what made you take this challenge? Because like for you, I'm looking at your stats. It didn't look like a crazy weight loss thing that you're looking to do or body fat. What made you want to do the six-week challenge? Uh, I think also because of my crazy uh, work schedule, I think it was really nice to have something structured. And also at the time, I think the kickboxing and boxing components of the Fight Fit Challenge seemed very attractive. Like my sister and I were thinking of like picking up a new hobby. We thought it'd be a good social thing to do together. So it was kind of like three birds in one stone. Beauty, we love that. And you got, you got uh, kickboxing, you got structure, and you got all in one package, which is awesome. You got to do it with your sister. Um, Irene, what were some of your uh, successes um, after the six week was finished? Uh, two things I think stood out to me. Um, one being that within, I think, the third or fourth week, like the workouts actually felt lighter. Like there was no like severe soreness the, the first two weeks. Um, and I'm, both my sister and I noticed that actually. And also just subtle changes in, um, I think, we uh, the body fat and most like more likely like the muscle um, percentage. I know the BIA isn't like super... Um, accurate but i think just comparing it to baseline it, there was some like subtle uh improvements which is really good and we can kind of tell b based on how like we were able to we're like a bit stronger and also less sore um so even if it's not reflected in the numbers it's the feeling so i think yes. that was really good and also improvements in mental health <laughs> love it love it so i mean i can look at numbers because i see all your stats i mean it looks like you went from 88 pounds of lean muscle mass to over to nine pounds 90 pounds which is almost like uh, two to three pounds of um, lean muscle mass that you put on, which is phenomenal because you coming into this program, it didn't look like you have much weight to lose anyways. Mm -hmm. which is yeah. Awesome. And probably gaining it would be better. Um, yeah. Um, you did the nutrition plan. And like you said, like kind of like your goal wasn't really like to, it didn't look like to lose weight is more for consistency, learn kickboxing and do it with your sister. But what are some things that you took away from like the nutrition plan? Oh yeah, I think definitely um, a bonus from the the three really like the core um, benefits that I kind of identified in the program. I think it was really nice to be uh, followed by a coach to kind of be in the energetic environment. Um, so this is like the first time uh, I kind of try to follow a plan that someone else prescribed for me, and I think that was kind of unique. Um, I always obviously kind of like tried to do what was most realistic, like out of all the tips. Like I know there was like some looking at the carbohydrate, looking at the, and I think it's like a lot, especially when I'm like in school and like I can't always like cook for myself or meal prep properly. So um, I remember one of my coaches just said to focus on the protein. And I think that kind of made things a lot easier because at least if I could accomplish like one part of the nutrition plan, um, it'd be, I'd be a whole lot better off. Um, and I think that really helped. 
And I, I like that. I like the structure. I think sometimes even um, I'm actually a dietetic student, like a nutrition student. So I think it's just funny to like learn from others. Like I'm still in the learning phase. And so this is kind of, it's quite interesting. It's like, um, yeah, like the, what you can hang and hop have. And then, um, yeah. of course, like I, yeah, <laughs> I can go, I can go on and on, but sure, overall yeah. I just, I just found it very, very curious and I still, it's still nice to, like, I think it's kind of the concept where, like, doctors still go see other doctors. It's um, kind of the same thing. PTs will see other PTs because you can't sometimes, you like to be seen and not only just prescribe it for yourself. It makes things easier, like lightens the load. Yeah, love it. I love I love the fact that you've actually realized that, that, like, when you're, when like, you, you can you can learn and, and having an objective view also helps. Um, cause sometimes when you, when you're kind of training yourself or you're like coaching yourself, even with all your knowledge that you're studying, uh, maybe a challenge to execute, but it always helps to have an outside set of eyes, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, one last question I'm going to ask you, um, there might've been some skepticism with you joining the challenge consider, and I could see it considering you didn't have much weight to lose, but what, what would you say to someone, um, that was kind of in your shoes right before doing the challenge? What would you say to get them to take this, take this, uh, take this challenge on on themselves? I think a six week, it might sound like a lot of like a time commitment, but really it, it goes by so quickly. And, and even the classes like three in a week, like I think it's just, there's no um, risk or there's no downfall of just giving it a try. There's no harm. So I think um, for anyone that is looking to try it, I think just, I would just say just do it, like as like you said, very very um, basic, but um, yeah. it's yeah. so simple yet so it's, yeah. uh, it's so powerful. Just do it. Love it, Irene. Thank you so much for sharing your transformation, and uh, we're glad uh, have, happy to have you part of the community and the fight family. All right, thank you, Joe. Thanks.